All right, row nine again. Single crochet in the first three. Chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next two, two single crochets in the next two. And then five, is it five? Yes, five single crochets, leaving the last two. Ugh. Chain one, turn one. I mean, turn. Row nine finished. Now, row ten. Single crochet in the back loops for seven stitches. That sounds really gross. Mr. Anderson, stop. One in the skip, and then one in each of the next three. Back to the outer edge. Chain one and turn. Row ten finished. Row eleven. Three single crochets. I mean, yeah, you know. One, two, three, chain one, skip one, two in the next one, in the back loop as always, and then the single crochet the next four. One, Two, I hear my peaches whining. Three, four. Chain one and turn. I gotta go let my dog out. Alright. I think we're on 12. One, two, Three, four, five, six, one in the skip, make seven, eight, nine. Ten. Chain one, turn. One, two, three, skip one, duh, and three left. Yep, we're on row thirteen. We're on track. Single crochet, single crochet in the first three stitches. Chain one, skip one, two in the next one. <coughs> All right, now we're leaving the last two, so going to. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Single crochet in the next three. Two, three. Chain one, turn, 
single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five, and put one in the skip, make six, chain one and turn. Now we're on 15, crochet in the next six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, and jump down and get this one, these two, seven, eight, these two, nine, ten, and, oh, come on, eleven, and twelve. I say it like it's the grand finale. It's the last time we'll ever have to do it. Chain one and turn. And that's not true because we're, we're, we got a whole half a whatchamadoodle here to finish. And we need to crochet back 12 crochets to be at the top again, at the outer edge. So, one. I'm going to be counting in my sleep. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Eleven and twelve again. Chain one turn. Now we're ready to go back to row nine. Single crochet the first three back loops. chain one, skip one, two in the next stitch, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, yep, five stitches, five single crochets in each of the next, nope, that's wrong one single crochet in each of the next five. One, two, okay, we need to do one more. Chain one and turn on to row ten. Single crochet in the back loops of the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one in the skip, and then the one in each of the next three. One, two, three. Chain one turn 
On to row 11. Single crochet in the first three back loops for three stitches. One, two, three, chain one, skip one, two in the next one. And then four, one, two, three, four, the next four back loops. Two, three, and four. Chain one turn. Row 12, single crochet in the six stitches. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, one in the skip. Crochet the next three stitches. Two and three. Chain one turn. End of row 13. Yep, we gotta do this row two. Chain, I mean, one single crochet in each of the next three back loops. And that's the third one. Chain one, skip one, two in the next. And now once we single crochet in the next three. One, two, three, chain one, turn. That finishes 14. Oh, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is this is row fourteen. I don't know how I got turned all around. Two, four, six. It's right. I was saying it wrong. We need to crochet five. Three, four, five, and of course it's tight. There's five. And one in the skip. And now here is where we turn and leave those three. Crochet six stitches back and then pick up two, four, six, those lower. The ones we left behind. One, two, Hold on. Why don't I have enough stitches? Two, three, four, five. I did something wrong. One, two, three, four. I missed one. Five, and then the sixth one. Okay. I did it wrong. Four. And then the fifth one goes right there. And then a sixth one in the hole. Chain one, turn. And then you should have six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. All right. So now we'll crochet six. Two, three, four, 
five, six, come down and pick up this one for seven, if I can get it to loosen up. Chain one, turn, and for row 16, single crochet in the back loop of each stitch all the way back for 12 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. chain one and turn okay uh, my memory filled up so I had to stop and take some time to transfer it all to my computer because I had months and months of video on here that had never been deleted alright so we finished up I think we were at the end of let's see one two three four Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're back up to row nine and starting another section. We're getting close. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six points. We just need two more. So, row nine, let's start. Single crochet in the first three. two, three, chain one, skip one, two in the next stitch, always in the back loop, one, two, and then the next five, one, two, three, four, five, yep, the next five stitches, one stitch in the back loop I'm leaving two stitches at the end all right chain one and turn should be 11 stitches one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, good. So that's row nine. We'll do row ten. Next seven back loops. Get one single crochet each. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, one in the skip, and then one in the, each of the next three. Two, all right, three chain one and turn, row 11, single crochet in the back loop of the first three, one, two, three, chain one, skip one, 
two in the next. And the next four stitches, single crochet in the back loops. One. Ah, oh, come on. Two. Three. Four. Chain one and turn. Row twelve. No, don't do that. Come on. Okay, row 12. The next six stitches, stitches, one single crochet in the back loop of each. There's two, three, four, five, six, one in the skip, Let's make seven, and then eight, nine, oops, nine, and ten. <clears throat> and row twelve should have ten stitches. Chain one and turn. Row thirteen, Single crochet in the back loop of the first three. One, two, three. Chain one, skip one, two in the next. And then the next three. One, two, three, leaving the last two, chain one and turn. Row 14, single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, Four and five and put one in the skip for six and we're going to chain one and turn leaving those three all right row 15 we're going to single crochet back through each of these six stitches one two Three, four, five, six, and then pick up the each row where we left two behind. So there's seven and eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and of course, twelve has tightened up. Okay, twelve, chain one and turn. Row 16, crochet all 12 in the back loops back to the outer edge. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 
12. Chain 1. Back to row 9. But, guess what? I think this is the last section. Yeah, buddy. It's about time. All right. Last time. <sighs> Crochet in the back loop for the next three. One, two. I'm sure you probably know all this now without me having to direct stitches. But I've done it all this time. Might as well keep going. Two in this one. And then the next five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. In the back loop. And that leaves two. Chain one and turn. Row ten. Single crochet in the first seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put one in the skip. And then the next three, crochet on, two, three, chain one and turn. All right, that was row 10, 11, next three, single, did I chain one? Nope. Chain one, then turn. One, two, three, chain one, skip, two in the next, and then single crochet and then loop back loops of the next four. One, two, three, four. Oops. Chain one and turn. Okay, row twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, put one in the skip, seven, and then three more, eight, nine, and ten. Chain one and turn, row thirteen. First three back loops, one, two, three, four, oops, one, two, three, chain one, skip one, two in the back loop, All right, we're going to crochet in the back loops of the next four. Two, three. Oh, I'm sorry, the next three. Chain one and turn. Is that right? Two, four, six, yeah. Alright, crochet back, um, five, one, two, 
three, four, five, one in the skip spot for six, and chain one and turn. Crochet back six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now get these two for seven and eight. Peaches! Nine and ten. Eleven and twelve. Chain one and turn. And the last row, row sixteen, crochet back to eight to the outer edge, twelve stitches. Two three four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right. That should be it. Yep. Alright, so pull a big loop and you want to pull out probably that much yarn. Cut it. Take your, pull your tail end through your loop and pull it tight. I mean, you don't have to like tight, tight, but just pull it closed. Alright, now we're going to take the darning needle and thread this tail through your needle. And we want to stitch this together so that it creates a ridge like the other rows. So we're going to just use the front, this, we're still, we're still doing the back loop only, but because it's laying here flat, it's going to be the, from your perspective, it'll be the front loop. And then on this side, it's only got, this is our very first cast on row, so it's, you're just going to grab the stitch. So, let me zoom in down here. Okay. <clears throat> this tail, this other tail, just get that out of the way. All right, so right here is your loop. Well, we want to start with the other side. You just want to put it through, if my camera will focus. Right there like that, that works. That's better, right there. Come on, focus. it. I keep looking at it above my glasses. It's in focus. My eyes aren't focusing. Okay, so pull that through. And then over here on this side, go through like that. And come back over here. And the next bump, if you will, it's like lacing up shoes. through this one. Hold on. That's the stitch we just did, so it goes through this one. Next bump. Through 
next stitch. Next bump. Next stitch. And so on. Oh, got to make sure I stay in camera. Uh, hold on. I got to back up. I did it wrong. I said it right, but I put it through the wrong. That's a stitch on a row back. Oh, they're all... Hold on. I got to undo these. You might have done yours right. I made a mistake. I was grabbing the stitches on the row behind. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Right here. I was grabbing back here. Right here. And then the next bump. And this one. You want to try to line them up as best you can. The very last stitch. And then come back and there's a knot right here. Don't pick at that knot. That's your where your yarn first started but run it through right there all right now change to the other tail this is your original tail and we're going to go through around this circle in the middle and grab the little bumps like this we'll grab that one too doesn't have to be precise as long as you're grabbing a stitch every few um, stitches you don't want to have it too spaced out because we're going to draw this up like a drawstring so you don't want to leave a gap I just got a text message. And just go all the way around, picking up stitches. Somebody's got something to say, but they can wait. We gotta go around till we get back to this tail. All right. 
and bring this up through through a stitch now you can t pull it and it closes up that center hole now take your two tails and tie them in a double knot don't tie it too tight or you're gonna draw up where you laced it together it'll go that was a nice sound effect wasn't it <laughs> all right where'd it go here it is. All right, re, re thread your needle. Now we got to weave in the ends, and this is the very end, the very last thing. All right, pick a row wherever your tail goes in, and just start. You want to kind of zigzag it a little bit. just start weaving it through a little ways we tied a knot in the strings but if we cut them right here they're gonna loosen up but if you weave the ends away off in different directions the odds of it coming undone are much less and if you pinch where you're pushing your needle through have your finger back there and kind of you can feel your way through so that your needle goes through the yarns through the knots through the switches and doesn't just come out and thread it through the other side so got that done cut it off pretty close being careful not to cut other stitches and now we'll do this one and we will be done. So we went this way with that tail, so we'll go over here with this tail. And just weave it off into oblivion. This is a little bit of a blunt needle, but it still gets the job done. The idea is to just have this tail disappear randomly off into the work so that as you use it and wash it, dry it, the fibers mingle with the other fibers and then they don't come out. All right, done. Where's my. All right, here it is, completed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. All done. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this and it was useful to you and I hope you have many years of happy crocheting ahead of you and I would love to hear um, your feedback on my video tutorial. I've done one or two others for knitting. Um, I think there was a crochet dog hat. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have fun and bye.